What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bree Dupree, and I'm back with another video. So, I thought today we'd do the first of hopefully many to come empties video. And it's all things that I've been saving for months in this bag, this designated bag of things of makeup and hair and skincare things that I went through and I really was determined to fit it. I'm somebody who doesn't really finish things. I just kind of have a plethora of things and they'll all be super low. And I said, no, we're going to finish stuff and we're going to see what we like. We're going to see what we don't like and we might repurchase and we might not. So let's get into it. If you want to hear my opinions on things, just stay tuned. The first thing I want to talk about is something I probably showed in a haul. Um, this is the Ren Pure Detoxifying Charcoal Charcoal Body Wash, and this is how it looks here. This was something I found on my cruelty free venture for stuff to use in the shower that was cruelty free, obviously. Um, and I'm beginning to fall in love with this brand. Since purchasing this, I do own two of their lotions. Um, and I am going to repurchase this. I'm currently going through um, a different body wash that we'll talk about later on. Um, but it does also charcoal. But this one, and it clearly states on the back, plant-based, gluten-free, they give back, and it's only tested on the Redmond family. It's a family-owned and operated company. It was very important to me, and it says right here on the back, not tested on animals, clear as day. We are a family just like yours, concerned about the environment and chemicals we are exposed to. That is why for over 30 years, our family has been creating beauty products with carefully chosen ingredients, never scamping on quality. We just make great formulas for our family and yours. Now, one of the things I really love about this is this pump. I feel like uh, a lot of times when we don't have pumps on our soap, we're just pouring out too much. I feel like me personally, I'm just using way too much body soap. I just need one pump of this. And this has lasted me a very long time. It's really good. I used to work for a t-shirt printing company and I would come home full of ink and this would get it off where I've gone through a lot of soaps that don't get it off. So anything with charcoal infused if you work in a really dirty place is going to help really detoxify your skin and get those impurities off. It smells good. I like that the color is strange. I love how big the bottle was. I think it was only like eight bucks and it lasted me a very 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 long time and I'm beginning to really like this brand and dive deeper into it. Another product I just talked about in a haul is the Thyrus Facial Toner. This one is in the scent Rose Petal. I cannot believe I finished this whole thing. I really like this toner. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's nice and soothing. It smells good. Um, it's also, well everything in here is going to be, mostly is going to be cruelty free. I liked it so much that I actually rebought it, but I bought it in the spray because I didn't want to use the round cotton pads anymore. I'm trying to reduce the amount of waste that I create. Um, so I'm excited to see how it is in the spray form and I got it in cucumber. So that's something I already repurchased. I wasn't playing games with that. Let's talk about a shampoo and conditioner. I got this brand Maui. I got the bamboo fibers conditioner and the moisture strength anti-breakage agave shampoo. This one was on clearance, that's why I got the big bottle. It was like only four dollars. Um, and I went through all of these. Now the soap that I bought is from this brand too, which is a charcoal soap in the same kind of packaging. Um, so I like the smell of these and I like the shampoo. I felt like the conditioner wasn't as moisturizing as I needed it to be. I felt like I always had to mix this conditioner with a thicker conditioner, a more moisturizing conditioner. I do like that they're cruelty free and that they use clean products and I don't have sulfates or synthetic dyes or parabens or silicones or anything of those bad situations. And it lists everything that it doesn't have here along the side so you can see how much of a good brand this is. Um, the, everything is sulfate free and it's good if you're on the curly girl journey. It's just for me, I, maybe just not this conditioner. Maybe they have a different conditioner that's better. This is a conditioner that just has bamboo fibers, castor oil, and whatever, something else. So maybe I tried the thicker conditioner, but I did like the shampoo a lot. I went through two leave-in conditioners. The first one is the Mega Growth 
daily leave-in conditioner for break free and the other one is the African Pride Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula. Now I've gone through a couple of these. I really do like this condition, this leave-in conditioner. I'm currently trying something new with a spray and leave conditioner so I don't disrupt my curls at all. But this does give a lot of moisture and a lot of times I'll mix the two. I used to use this brand when I was younger and it really helped to grow out my hair. So I figured let me just dive back into it. And it was a bigger bottle. Um, and I like this one too, but I just like this one a little bit better. And if I was to repurchase one, I would repurchase this one. But I'm currently trying out the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner, and I'll let you guys know how that one goes. But these two are really good. You can find them at Walmart, and they're reasonably priced. And they really do last a long time. Now, I don't think these... I'm not sure if these are cruelty free. I've had these before I made that transition. That's how long these lasted. So I'm not sure. Don't clock me on it. I went through a whole box of the from the 10OX down to the poor pore strips and I did repurchase that. I did just uh, film a haul showing you guys that I repurchased it. These are really good. I like them a lot um, and I'll continue to use them. They get your blackheads out. What I like about this is it comes with a chin and forehead strips too. So it gets your blackheads out of your chin and out of your forehead along with your nose and they're all different shapes that work for different parts of your face. Another thing I went through and I've been using it, I have, um, I bought several of these. So when my mom got, gave them to me. This is the Ollie brand, the Restful Sleep Gummies. This has melatonin in it along with L-theanine and bitonicals. Now melatonin obviously helps you to relax. L-theanine is something that helps turn your brain off. The issue that I have with going to sleep is that my brain is always just thinking of stupid things and I have to sleep with a background noise and sometimes my sleep schedule gets off kiltered and when I need to go to sleep and I'm not tired, sometimes I'll just pop one of these in instead of two and I'm like knocked out in like 20 minutes. I don't really like the flavor. It's like a berry meets mint. I don't know why anybody wants a grape mint flavor but these are really really good and they work fast if you have trouble sleeping at night I would recommend these they're really really good um I went through a whole tube of the well a whole jar of the mixed chips deep conditioner and I mean shorty scraped the inside out okay this is by far my favorite conditioner I try to repurchase it on Ulta it's currently sold out this is so thick you can just leave this in your hair in the shower for five minutes and it feels like you did a deep conditioning with a shower cap for 20 minutes. It's insane. The smell is amazing. It stays on your hair for at least two days and the texture is so thick and whipped and creamy and amazing. And if it's back in stock and you can get this, you can. I think Target sells it in like a tub. tub. Now it is kind of expensive. I think it's like $14 for this. But if they sell it in like a huge jar for like 50 bucks at Target, I just can't bring myself to pay that much right now. Um, but this has made me believe in the brand a little bit more. I tried this and I still have their shampoo, which I love. And so now I'm buying more products because of, literally because of this. Mm -hmm. I went through a whole tube of the One Smooth Operator Pore Cleansing Face Scrub. This will probably be the last physical exfoliant that I buy. I've been doing more research on them and I've been thinking maybe that's why I have a little, um, I have like little divots in my face and I think it has to do with physical exfoliants. But I will say this, it smelled good and it really, really did feel like it was getting off that first layer of dead skin. Um, and dirt which I appreciate it. This has Zulk, Oat and Pumis and it really smells good. It smells kind of like a grape situation. I would mix this in with my, I have a daily one and I would mix this in after I learned about what was going on with my face. I felt like I was just using this too much and I made it last a long way because it was like, it was like a little bit of exfoliant with um, my daily foaming cleanser. Mm -hmm. I went through a whole jar or whatever of these. These are like dollar store face wipes. I literally just use these wipe off my hands um, when I'm swatching stuff and that's it. And they're only a dollar at the dollar store. Nothing to write home about. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this stuff is so good. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleanser. My old boss gave me this and oh my gosh before I switched to the makeup eraser this stuff would really get everything off you just need a little bit you rub it in your hands and it turns into like a Vaseline consistency and you can just see like the, like you can wear the Estee Lauder double wear foundation and this will just come right off it took off so much stuff and what, what my eyes are very sensitive 
and I can't really use stuff like this around my eyes because it'll make my eyes really blurry and burn but this didn't do that I could put it on my eyes it would get off my eyelash glue it would get off my waterproof mascara um and I would repurchase this I really would this is really 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 good I don't know if it's cruelty free or not it was given to me but it was really good I went through a whole spray bottle of the Milani Make It Dewy. I already repurchased this. I mean, this is something I need in my collection. Um, I will never not need this in my collection. It's affordable. The spray is amazing. The dew is fantastic. It's not a shimmer. It's not an oil. It's not grease. It really makes you look like you're glowing from within. And I appreciate it. It has saved me on a lot of days where I was looking a little too matte. On through three of the BH Cosmetics HD brow pencils and I've already bought like four more. I have a backup drawer now and they're already in the backup. Mama don't play games when it comes to her HD brow. I'm currently not using them right now because I have dyed my eyebrows the same color as my hair. But when I do use regular natural toned hair and eyebrows whatever I use this and it is amazing it's only like five dollars you can always catch it on sale for 20% off um and they're just so good they last a very long time you get a spoolie with well, mole mine are very hairy you get spoolies with them and they're just amazing I cannot tell you guys to get this enough okay if you get the HD brown they have different ones get the one with a very fine tip and you will be good to go I went through a whole jar. You can't even tell who it is anymore. This is the um, Jeffree Star Mannequin Liquid Lipstick. I've never gone through a lipstick, a liquid lipstick ever. Since then, I bought the mini one that came in the Jeffree Star Morphe collab, and I bought another tube of this. Like literally, it's gone. I've scraped the sides. Um, I have another one, like I said, in my collection. I'm actually wearing it today with a gloss on top. This is just my perfect go-to nude if I can't think of a lipstick with the right undertone to match my eyeshadow or if I'm just running out the door and I can't think right now of like a super intricate lip I put this on especially with a brown lip liner and I am good to go this has been my ride or die I love his formula I love the smell of this um and I will be purchasing this probably until the day I die honestly I finished the Maybelline 24 hour stay foundation this is how nasty it looks um, I loved this foundation it was like my color it lasted a long time it was full coverage um, I don't know what shade this 310 310 10 sun beige and I probably will repurchase this I'm going through a lot of foundation right now once I clip some space I will be getting this I love the Maybelline fit me and I love the Maybelline fit me dewy and now they came out with a dewy smooth one I want to try and I'm also going to be adding this to my collection and then I went through this was like a this came in a kit and um I'll just go through both of them so it was like a vitamin C kit from this brand called I do care which is another cruelty free brand that they sell at Ulta and it came with the moisturizer the serum and a lip mask that I'm still using a lip mask and I really like the lip mask I use it when I sleep overnight so the serum is a vitamin C serum and I really did like it um, I've only had this or or the ordinary vitamin C serum before and I felt like the ordinary vitamin C serum sometimes can just be too much whereas this one wasn't and it left my skin giving it a nice glow and then with the this now <laughs> What happened with this was when you get this it'll be a cream and it'll be like a gel a green gel on top and you have to mix them and I didn't know that so for like the longest time I was just using the gel and then I got to the, I thought it was the bottom the white part but it was actually the cream so you actually have to mix them up but I like the gel and I like the cream regardless when I finally didn't mix it up it was also good so I am going to be repurchasing this repurchasing this um, it's like 23 bucks or something um, Sephora I mean at Ulta and I don't know I'm gonna get it though and it's it's the say you do and it's just a moisturizing vitamin C gel and cream and this was really good it left my skin fit looking really really dewy when I left the house with just skincare on I would get compliments from my friends on how beautiful my skin looked and I think that this played a really good role in it sticking to the I do care brand I also bought like this little trio of their little um wash off face masks this this one was for brightening was it had like watermelon it had like cute little watermelon seeds in it and smelled like watermelon then you had the matcha that was to calm your skin and then you had the birthday cake one which smelled like birthday cake and had sprinkles in it that was for moisturizing and what i like to do with these was multi-mask um i would put the calming smoothing one uh on my pores 
I would put the brightening one around here and the moisturizing one everywhere else. And I really did like it. I think my favorite one is the birthday cake one though because it smelled like birthday cake. It's, you can still kind of see the sprinkles in there a little bit. This was this, this one's called Cake My Day. You got Matcha Mood and then you have Berry Groovy. And I kind of like this little kit and I might buy the little kit again. It's super cute and adorable. And it's from that same brand, I Do Care, and I really liked it. I finally finished this concealer, and I don't like this concealer very much. This was the Makeup Revolution Concealer Define Concealer. I think it was a color. It was C9. It was very, very, just a weird color. And I literally only used it to prime my eyelids. And I'm fine. I'm glad that I finally got through this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was just, that's just a weird concealer color. It's very, very pink. And very very strange and I've had a problem with trying to find concealers in this one so I just don't use it um, but I just use this to prime my eyelids with and it served its purpose and I'm not going to be reproaching this thing this I finally finished my mermaid skin by Tarte this was a hyaluronic h2o serum I really did like this serum it came in a kit with like some other stuff um, with their C whatever they were doing back in the day and I like this if I did my skincare my skin still felt a little bit dry I would put this on before I put on my primer and it really did help to moisturize my skin and it soaked in nice would I repurchase it probably not because it's probably expensive since it's tart but it was still nice another foundation from Maybelline <laughs> the Superstay Better Skin with Actal C oil free and transfer proof foundation i really do like maybelline's foundations i'm gonna be honest um do i like their glass packaging i'm gonna go ahead and say no just because my sister has had a hardwood floor and i was living with her and i've lost plenty of things with glass packaging but i really do like maybelline's foundation and i really wish they would go cruelty free like at like other brands um in their realm but i do like this foundation um I don't know if I buy it again. Like I said, I have to go through a lot of these foundations that I have right now. But if I was at the store and I knew which shade I was and it was on sale or an affordable price, I would get this again. This was the color for me. Nobody knows. 30 warm nudes. This is before I knew what my shades were. <laughs> would I get it in my shade? Yes. These were kind of foundations I used to cocktail with other foundations. Um, but I've had this for a long time and it's it's gone. She's She's gone. Okay, I went through the whole matcha face milk from 4th Ray Beauty. I bought this with that meant to be collection. This was really nice. What I did was I put all my serums on and then I put this in my fingers and pat it like the instructions say. Um, and then I would go in with a moisturizer. Now I think this is supposed to be in replace of a moisturizer. I'm not sure. Me, I like to layer more. I like my skin to be moisturized, especially when I go to sleep. But I would use this at AM or PM. It smelled nice. It felt good. Um, it wasn't nothing to write home about. I don't know if it did any benefits for me. Did my skin feel moisturized? Yes, but I also used other moisturizing things so I can't just say right off the bat that this is the greatest. Will I try other face milks from them and other skincare products from them because of how well this product performed? Yes, but I don't know if it did anything super drastic to my skin. I went through this little tiny thing. This is from Volition. This is a snow mushroom water serum. I got this on like a kit of Sephora favorites, I think. Um, mushrooms, mushroom serum is supposed to be really good for you, really good for your skin. I don't know why I went through it. Eh, I'm not gonna buy the full size, that's for sure. I went through two of these Manoia oils from ORS, which I won't be repurchasing because I don't think ORS is um cruelty free but this was really good to mix and I did like I do like a little kind of um a little concoction of oils for my scalp um it's coconut oil olive oil um argan oil black Jamaican castor oil and I'll put this in there too and it was really nice if I'm looking for something for my scalp it was really good for what it used to serve its purpose for I went through a whole tube of duo lash glue I've since bought a different one this is supposed to be the fast drying one I did not like the brush this is how the brush looked like a spatula so I just switched the brushes out um but I do like dual glue it is a ride or die for me I don't like how long it takes to dry so I just put my blow dryer on my lashes and it dries a little bit faster that's a trick if you guys sit down like me and have access to like a blow dryer and an outlet like just 
just blow dry your lashes for 10 seconds and they'll be good to plop on. You don't have to sit there and wait forever. I finished a whole tube of Blistex. And I mean, I finished a whole tube of Blistex, um, which is rare for me because I own so many different chapsticks and so many different lip conditioning agents. Um, but this scent, this orange mango blast, oh my God, okay, it was so fruity. Blistex is one of those really, really good brands. I like it better than Carmex. I like it better than a lot of brands that you can find like at your convenience store or grocery store or whatever. Um, and I liked it and it actually works for my lips. I put this on at night before I had my lip mask and go to sleep and I would wake up with really, really smooth baby lips. And then I went through this little tiny thing. I think I got this free from Beautylish. This is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. And I was just going through like a cleansing balm phase, obviously with the pharmacy one. Not as good as the pharmacy one, but still worked. Um, I would say there wasn't that much in here and there's not really a lot you could do with it. But it was a nice little sample and I probably won't be purchased because I'm pretty sure Good Molecules is just a little bit more expensive. But I'm not doing the cleansing balms anymore. I'm doing the um, uh, eraser makeup eraser that's what I'm doing now so yeah so those were all of my empties you saw what I repurchased and what I would repurchase um, a lot of things I do recommend to you guys especially anything from the I do care line check them out if you're looking for an affordable cruelty free um, good skincare brand because they are pretty good along with formula 10 OX they're also really good I recommend those highly 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 recommend those um, and Ren Pure Line. Those things, I would say, if anything from this, from the empties, get those because those are the things that I used up not on purpose. Not like I was trying to use them up, but just because I was using them so much that they got used up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It might happen again if I remember to collect my things. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!